Battles and warfare have been integral aspects of human existence since time immemorial. From the early struggles for survival to the continual conflicts that shape our modern world, life is often viewed as a battleground. In this disorderly landscape, the weak can become prey if they are unaware or unprepared for the battles that lay ahead. The ability to actively participate and adapt in these ill will often decides who survives and who is consumed by the onslaught. This ability, for many, is not only derived from sheer will or intelligence, but is also seen as being under the grace and protection of God. The Book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 22, posits that it is by the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, as His compassions do not fail. For many individuals, faith in God is seen as an essential shield in the face of life's brutal battles. However, it is essential to recognize that not everyone is receptive to this protective shield. Sadly, so many people are so self-absorbed that they are not aware they have locked out Jesus from their lives. And he can no longer be of assistance in providing support and covering over their lives anymore. They are so caught up in other matters of life that nothing interests them anymore when it has to do with God. They are not aware that they are being baited away from the place of their help care and support. So many people are so strong, so self-sufficient, so powerful and so resilient that they have completely abandoned God as their help and support. God is no longer good enough to be their help, their standby and their support. They have sure failure-proof methods of safeguarding their lives and that of their families. They have all things. In short, they deeply believe that they are completely covered no matter what. They seem to have forgotten that safety is of the Lord alone. The book of Proverbs chapter 21 verse 31 says, The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. That while all your preparations are wise and tactful, it is full-fledged foolishness to not still commit it all in God's able and sure hands. The book of Psalms chapter 37 verse 5 says, Commit the way into the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. They seem to have forgotten that no matter the amount of preparation and planning ahead, we do as humans, it is truly the Lord that keeps us when all all said and done. The consequences of such self-reliance without acknowledging God can be devastating. When hardships hit, as they inevitably do, those who have distanced themselves from faith may find that their self-constructed safety nets are not enough. They may face crises that their intelligence, power, and resources cannot solve. It is in these times that the absence of spiritual support and trust in God can leave them feeling isolated and vulnerable. Life's unpredictability has a way of humbling even the strongest among us, and those who have turned away from acknowledging any support beyond their own might find themselves woefully unprepared for the storms they face. Recognizing the importance of balance between self-reliance and spiritual faith can be a turning point. It is not about abandoning your own strength, but complementing it with the understanding that there are forces beyond human control. The book of Psalms chapter 127 verse 1 says, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen working, but in vain. You have fought a brave and admirable battle. You have stood your ground. You have kept yourself by grace. You have struggled with all the difficulties. The storm, 
the deluge of discouragement, pain, and hurt. So many people have left you behind. You really feel that the battle of the whole world rests upon you. You have been pressed so heavily under the weight of this sad case. You have become a beacon of the injustice of this world. So many people see you now and pity you. Why shouldn't they? You look broken, hurt, be down over, tempted, and out of your depth. The word of God that says that you cannot be tested and tempted beyond that which you are able to bear seems not to apply to your situation at all. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. The pivot of temptations and battles seem to be heavily leaned upon you. You are nearing ever so dangerously your breaking point. The world around you has pitied you so much. Maybe the medical world no longer has any treatment for your condition. They may all have no more solution or ideas to proffer anyone. Maybe they have even given up on you and left you for dead. I bring you good news. God is not out of his depth on your case. Nothing is a mistake in the grand scheme of things. The eyes of the world may view your circumstances with despair. Your pains might appear to be endless and your strength waning. There might be whispers that the remedies of this world have faltered and that no cure remains for your ailment. But heed, for there is tidings of comfort and joy. There is one whose fount of wisdom and healing is inexhaustible. The Almighty is never perplexed or confounded by your predicament. In earnest supplication, Surrender your burdens and draw upon the wellspring of grace that flows inexhaustibly. One day, people asked Jesus about a man who was born blind, inquiring who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind. Jesus explained to them that neither the man nor his parents had sinned to cause his blindness, but rather the condition existed so that the works of God might be glorified. So, dear beloved, understand that there is no error in God's plans. You find yourself where you are today, perhaps in a disadvantaged position, in a state of illness, or facing reproach. This is not necessarily because you or your parents did something wrong, but it may be so that God's name will be glorified when he intervenes in your situation. The doctors may have exhausted all treatments and methods to salvage the situation, and this could be because God does not wish to share his glory with anyone. As stated in the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 8 says, I am the Lord. That is my name. I will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols. God is so protective of his glory that he would prefer a situation to remain unresolved if someone else would take credit for the resolution. The book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 11 says, For my own sake, for my own sake, I do this. How can I let myself be defamed? I will not yield my glory to another. Therefore, it is imperative that you be very deliberate in giving credit and glory to God with thanksgiving. God is focused on furthering his cause alone, and any plan that does not align with his will is destined for failure, regardless of the effort or resources invested in it. Dear beloved, do not lose hope as regards to that situation of yours. God may be isolating you from all the plan B's you had conceived in your heart so that he would show up in that case and stun all with the miraculous work of his hand. Through his mighty intervention, 
your situation could turn into a testimony that leaves an indelible impact, not just on your life, but on the hearts of many. As the fabric of your life takes on new patterns under God's graceful touch, let this be the time when your faith is fortified. Be vigilant and patient, for when God acts, the chains that held you are broken and the shadows that clouded your vision are dispelled by the radiant light of His glory. Let the unfolding of God's plan for you be the harbinger of hope, grace, and endless possibilities. He is truly a specialist at helping the forsaken and helpless. He is attracted to the one who is disadvantaged to prove to the world that no case is to written off for even him to redeem. You are not alone. You are not a lost cause. Do you not know that the one who is with God is the majority? He's not alone at all. It doesn't matter who leads, who has left you or will leave you. For as long as God has not left you, you are more than perfect. It doesn't matter if your friends leave you, your partner divorces you, your siblings leave you all alone, your parents desert you. Even in the darkness of this battle, where the news of death, danger, and peril arise daily, it is the Lord that sustains a man and preserves him in the day of battle and beyond. Most of the time, you cannot see everything that besieges you. Like the young servant of Elisha in the Bible who was terrified by the imposing ranks of seasoned soldiers from the Syrian army that had surrounded the camp where he and the prophet Elisha were staying with the intent to capture them. It was only natural for the servant to be scared. They were just two individuals up against an entire army. There was no allied force nearby that could come to their aid in time. There was no hope of mounting a defense. They were vastly outnumbered and seemingly trapped without any hope. In contrast, Elisha remained calm despite the peril surrounding them from every side. He possessed a confidence that seemed to anchor his peace and tranquility even in the face of imminent danger. He could see what the young servant could not, the armies of God. These celestial forces were fiercer, more potent, and more numerous than the Syrian soldiers. The Syrian army stood no chance. With divine intervention, the scales were tipped in favor of Elisha and his servant. The same could be your situation today. You feel besieged on all sides and are at your wit's end on how to resolve the situation. You are completely at a loss for how to help yourself. No one you know can help you right now, and even those who might have been able to assist are unavailable, as they are engaged in battles of their own and cannot leave theirs to attend to yours. All you need to know, even now, is that you are not alone at all. If you will see now, beyond what your physical eyes can see, beyond what your mind can imagine, beyond any help that any man or institution can offer, you will see that even now, God is with you. Take heart and have faith. Just as Elisha's servant witnessed the divine forces surrounding them when his eyes were opened, you too might find unforeseen strength and assistance in your trying times. Sometimes, the challenges we face are beyond human understanding or intervention. This is when you need to let go and trust God. Reach out to Him. Pray earnestly and believe that there is a grand purpose for everything that happens. As you move forward through the struggles, remember that being steady in your faith doesn't mean that the storms will pass immediately, but it means that you will have the strength to weather them. Like the young servant, you might be given a glimpse of the unseen support surrounding you. 
keep your spirit open to the divine intervention and guidance. You are never truly alone. Hold on to hope and let the knowledge of a protective higher presence guide you through the darkness.